Hi guys, in my last video I said that I would show you my handbag and what's in it. Okay, so I got this bag for my 19th birthday, so I'll show you everything about it and tell you what I know about it anyway. Okay, so I spotted this, oh sorry, I spotted this bag, this is just a wee tote bag. I spotted this in the game fair and I really eyed it up because I liked it so much. I mean the pattern. There's like little peacocks on it and sorry, mind the noise, the wind is kind of blowing. Um, and then it has like music notes and like words and stuff on it. It has like roses and like the pattern on that side has like beautiful pink roses as well. And then on the inside, it's quite a big bag. Okay, so be warned, I have not cleaned this out yet. I have just been using it and I'm just back from a trip. So it's full of stuff. Okay, so this here, the straps kind of click on and off so you can sort of carry it around like the handle though, about on the hand, handle though, I probably wouldn't advise it as this is probably open and your bag would probably spill out. Okay, so on the inside, as you can see, there's a good bit of space. It has enough space for the iPad and stuff like this. So this is my iPad. This is just the iPad, the new iPad, which is the third generation. And um, this is just a mini mouse cover. I got this from the Disney store up in Belfast. Uh, my button on my iPad sort of went in, broke, but other than that, it's fine. And that is James. Um, he's, I'll link him below. He was um, mucking about my iPad and put a picture of himself on it. Okay, so the rest of it. Um, I am currently reading this book. This is the accident, the accidental mother, and the blurb says Sophie Mills has worked her manolo. I can't read that <laughs> off to reach the near top of her profession, and she's very happy with her priorities in life. Her job, her neurotic, her neurotic cat art, whatever. Do I know something? I'm no good at reading out loud, so I can read into myself and stuff, but that's the book there. It's very good, and I would very recommend it. I like it. It's very funny. It is a little bit hard to get into, but it's good. Okay, so um, I have my Canon camera. What do you call it? My Canon camera charger. This is just for the Canon XS 132, as this is the camera I am using right now. I also have my camera case. This is by Lopro. I suppose you could fit. Um, it showed in the box you could fit your a flip camera, so it's big enough for a flip camera and like an iPod and stuff. Okay, the fragrance I'm wearing today, which I just threw in, it, threw in, is the Ghost fragrance. I don't know what one it is. My mum got it from the airport for me and um, the duty free. It's the original one, I think. Okay, as you can see, the in lining is all music notes as well, so it's beautiful. Um, this is a purse that I bought at the game fair as well. Um, it's by Paper Plane. It's I got it from the same stall, so it's pretty much the same company, only it's different designs. So it says, bye bye baby, with a kiss, and then er meal, and then whatever that is in French. And then it has a little ribbon. Um, it then, it's a little bit um, delicate to open as my cousin has the same purse, hers ripped. So on the inside, you, I keep receipts, some change in there and then just my normal cards. Is my top one is my student ID card, the next one's my boots card, next one's my um, Debenhams card, which is really cute actually, let me see. I can't get it out. It's really cute. And then a bus pass that is no longer valid and my bank card. Sorry, I was about to show you my number there. But yeah, my bank card, that's by Danske Bank. Um, in this little compartment here, friggin' open it, is just my driving license and stuff. So I'm not going to show you that because it has all my details on all. I have a pair of sunglasses. See if I can get them out. These were from B and Bargains for like one ninety nine. At the time, I just needed sunglasses, and I quite like them now. And now I can't get them back in. Um, I have some tablets. It just says my name, 
Miss Rachel Quinn. Though they spelt my name wrong. It won't focus. They spelt my name wrong. There's meant to be an A before the E. And then it doesn't have my address or anything on it. This is just for hair fever because I have quite bad hair fever. Uh, I have my keys and on them I have a Converse key, a Converse key ring. Um, a Florida key ring. I, bought, I actually bought the Converse and the Florida key ring together in Florida, obviously. My house key with an R on it. And um, whatever that is. A little teddy bear. Uh, piglet. It's actually a wee light as well. A little, it's like a pound coin thing. But it's not a pound coin. You stick this into your trolley and then you get your trolley or shopping cart if you're American. And then this is just my One Fitness membership card. So it's my gym card. That's how I get in to the gym. Um, I also carry about a pair of headphones. These are just the JVC ones. Nothing special. They were quite cheap. And then my phone. I got this phone case off Amazon a couple of days ago. This is um, it was $4.99. It's got a magnetic strip up here. And that's just my phone there. And Baby! Oh, and I have a lot of notifications. Um, so yeah, I love this little case. It's good. Um, lastly, I carry, oh, for that, a tissue. And I carry about my iPhone, iPod, iPad charger. So that's just the bag there. I mean, it's, it's brown leather at the back. Obviously, it's, it's not real leather. It's, fa it's fake leather. And um, the bag itself... Um, was fifty pounds, and my mum bought it in Belfast. As I said, I seen it at the game fair, but I didn't get it because I didn't have enough money that day with me, and I um well, only had enough to buy the purse. So I bought the purse, and my mum got it for my birthday. So that was a nice surprise. So the bag itself was fifty pound. The purse um was twenty five. It was meant to be thirty, but she knocked down five pounds on it for me so it was sort of like a bargain it's not a bargain it's what do you call them things you have to negotiate the price anyway so anyway i'll see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching bye